Hey, this is Scott of photographybonte.com. In this video, I'm going to be going over using a game controller to help you go through your photos, picking out the good ones or hiding the bad ones. I have a PS4 controller that I hooked up to my computer. You can use whatever controller you want as long as it works with the computer. In this case, the PS4 controllers, there is a DS4 Windows program that works for the drivers. It's a really cool open source. You should check them out. I made a custom profile where it links up keyboard shortcuts to the controller. Uh, I'm using Adobe Bridge CS5. That's the version that I own. It's a little old and you can't actually change any of the keyboard shortcuts, but there's a list available. So I just picked out a few that I wanted to use and then I linked it up with the controller. As I mentioned, you've got the DS4 windows for the PS4 controllers. Just make a custom profile, you press a button, and then it'll pop up. And I just record a macro, so if it needs to be control one or control or control alt something, you can just record a macro and that'll work pretty nicely. So here's bridge. I just have it set up where I can go through the photos with the uh, D pad. Pretty nice that way. And then I use these buttons up here to change the rating. So I give it a five, which I usually do, or cancel that whole rating on the photo. And then these ones can toggle up. So one to five rating or no rating. And here I also have a setting where it'll show all of the five ratings or can cancel out any type of filter on the photo list. So that will only show the five ratings. I can select those, go through them a second time, or cancel that, and then it goes back to the main thing. And then I just have these two set up to change the zoom level on my thumbnails. That's pretty much it. The cool thing about the PS4 controller with the DS4 windows is you can actually control the mouse with this little pad here. So you could potentially sit on your couch and do some photo editing, which is nice. That's pretty much it. I really enjoy using this. It's easy and you don't have to have your holding a mouse for hours looking through your photos. Because you can actually do this wirelessly with Bluetooth or, like I said, any controller that will work for you. So that's Scott from Photography Bonsai. Thanks.